Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. I got little Coley here. We're gonna be vlogging over like the next couple days. It's Thursday today, probably the next couple days and into the weekend, because we have some fun stuff planned. But we had a rough, like the roughest night, honestly, ever with him. Like even since he was a newborn, like we've never had a night that was that miserable as last night. So I'll give you all an update on that. What's going on, what plans we have coming up. It'll be great. Look at that cute baby. Look at that cute boy. Good job. Just like one, two, three. Shake your body. Good job, Cole. Good job, Coley. Yay. <laughs> Oh, really? Because I thought we were enjoying this. You're okay. You want to do another one? Yay! Let's play! Okay. Okay, I just got cold down for a nap. Thank goodness. Threw a little bit of makeup on. Last night was so intense. I think he, I mean, he's definitely going through like his fourth leap he's in. He's also in like his three to four month sleep regression. And I'm pretty positive he's teething even though I know it's a little bit early. I know what can happen. And he is just so drooly and he's just munching on his hands nonstop. And there's a lot going on, but usually like it's manageable. But last night it was not manageable. <laughs> There's a poor guy like he was just like not screaming, but like I don't know like shrieking almost he was just clearly So uncomfortable. I don't know what exactly was bothering him. It definitely seemed like it was his teeth It wasn't really his stomach because we like got the gas out of him a lot of times It is gas, but he didn't seem like especially gassy I definitely think it was his mouth because he was like shoving his hands in his mouth to munch on them Like while he was sleeping which he never ever does so this poor guy literally didn't sleep last night he was like bright eyed and bushy tailed at like 9 45 which was like two and a half hours after i put him down and then he really didn't go to sleep till like midnight and then he slept in ken's arms for like an hour and then woke back up and then i didn't get him back down till like three and then he slept for like two hours and then i fed him he slept again for like another hour and then we went back to my room and he slept for like a half hour so cumulatively he probably got like four or five hours of sleep when he normally gets like 12 i think i got probably like two or three hours. I literally slept in the chair in his nursery, like in the rocker, all night long. Well, all night, from like 2 a.m. till we got up. So it was uncomfortable, it was a long night, I didn't sleep for like any of it, and this poor guy, huh, I just like, you don't know what to do, you feel so helpless in those situations. You're not exactly sure what's wrong and you don't exactly know what to do about it. But at least we got him to sleep a little bit and he went down for that nap super easily, like he conked out the second I walked into that room with him essentially. So I know he's super tired, which I'm hoping will lead us to some good naps. And hopefully that was just like a fluke, a little fourth leap, three, four month sleep regression, teething fluke, and hopefully that's not like a new normal if y'all have experienced teething with your kids especially like at a younger age maybe like during a leap and during a sleep regression let me know your experiences i've had a couple of people message me and like let me know like they had kind of something similar happen so i'm feeling like it, it could be what it is and it's not like crazy unexpected for weird crazy things like this to happen but we just weren't expecting it and we've never had that hard of a time putting him down to sleep like he was up for hours and hours and just was not getting drowsy like not even a little bit that's never happened before so we made it through i'm honestly feeling okay considering how little sleep i got and so i was like you know i want to get myself together and at least like try to have a normal day and not like let how sleepy i think i am make me you know actually drag today so anyway that's what went on it was bananas <laughs> but today i wanted to vlog a little bit like i said i'm going to be vlogging the next couple days i wanted to show you all some like kind of spring cleaning decluttering organizing that i've been doing we're kind of like i'm not just trying to get organized and get our stuff together so i wanted to show you all that we were going to go out later today and tonight so i'll let you all know what we were gonna do what we might still do and kind of like the plans for the rest of the week this will probably be broken up into a couple different vlogs because i'm going to be vlogging for a couple of days but i'm very excited to be bringing you along. All right, we just hopped in the car. It's a little guy, he's already completely saturated this bib. <laughs> we like drool and spit up. But we're gonna get some lunch, yay! Someone's away, good morning. Good morning. He's in his, you can't really tell, he's in his football gear for Super Bowl weekend, oh yeah. We secured the goods. 
You like it? Good job. All right, here's the goods. We got, I think these ones are the boneless, the regular. This is um like a honey garlic and then a soy garlic and then fries. And these are those good like battered kind of fries. Ken is putting on the Danish curling competition. I think it was the women's that went this morning because he's from Denmark. I feel that known curling is like a big deal there. So we're gonna grab this. Cole wants to eat and we're gonna watch the curling. Ken is just really into the curling situation. He even brought his work out here so he could watch. Cole's over here. I think he's sleepy or hungry or both. I wanted to show you a little football outfit in honor of Super Bowl week. Yeah, you are a human baby football. It's very cute. <sighs> okay, I just got the baby down for another nap. And we're upstairs now because I wanted to show you, like I mentioned, some of the organization and stuff that I've been doing. I feel like we've just kind of in general, like this time of year, kind of like spring cleaning sort of thing. I've just been trying to like declutter, organize my life, and not just like organize my stuff, but kind of just like get all of our ducks in a row kind of in general. So that's actually what I want to talk to you about before I show you all of that good stuff. I did want to talk about today's sponsor, which is Ethos. And I am so excited to be working with them because I feel like life insurance. It's one of those things, especially now that we have a baby, those kind of things that like, I feel like we would typically kind of like put off in the back of our mind are kind of a lot more important now. So that's why as I was trying to like make a list of all the things we need to accomplish around here, organization, cleaning, all of that, life insurance is one of those things that kind of came to mind that I thought, now that we have a family, it's kind of important to think about, but I feel like we don't think about it a lot and I don't think it's talked about very much because it's kind of obviously talking about death is kind of a weird subject and it's not really something that you want to think about. But I also feel like at the same time now being like an adult and a parent and all that, knowing your options and being prepared for the worst case scenario is like more important now than it's really ever been before. And like I said, it's something that is really easy to put off just like the cleaning and the organizing and everything else. It's easy to just be like, yeah, I'll get to that, especially if you're young, but it's it's really like never too early. I don't think anyone would want any of their family members, whether it's your kids or your spouse or anyone to struggle financially, obviously, if anything were to happen. So that's kind of where Ethos comes in. Life insurance is just, it's really just like a safety net for the worst case scenario. And I feel like everyone feels better knowing that they have a safety net, especially a financial safety net. And I recently found out now that I am a parent that the USDA says that raising a child costs $234,000 and that doesn't even include college, and that's per child. That's why now things are just kind of framed differently now that we have a baby. I feel like it's important for everyone to feel like their children will have the financial support that they need if they're not around to you know, provide it for them. And we're also homeowners, <laughs> which is another big expense on top of children. Having a mortgage payment is also something that, that you'd wanna have taken care of. But one really good thing about getting life insurance through Ethos is that the beneficiary can spend the money on anything they choose to. It doesn't have to be on kids, or it doesn't have to be on a mortgage. It can be spent on gifts or meals or trips, like whatever is important to that individual or that family at the time. So that's why I really want to talk to y'all about this today, especially because I know so many of y'all are parents or you're married and you have, you know, important people in your life that you would really want to be supported financially in the worst case scenario. And I feel like a lot of us would assume life insurance is typically kind of confusing and time consuming to even like address. But with Ethos, it's actually like super, super fast and super easy, which as a new mom, I need everything to be like as fast and easy and like quick to get done as possible. I don't have time for literally anything. And I feel like a lot of us feel that way with life insurance, which is why we end up putting on the back burner a lot of the time. But Ethos is making life insurance super quick, easy, and accessible. They literally just have like an online application. You don't have to call anybody up. You don't have to go through a lengthy process. You can just do it on your phone or on the computer, which I feel like just takes kind of like the intimidation factor out of it. Because actually the Life Insurance Marketing and Research Association found that nearly half of Americans are putting off purchasing life insurance because they're intimidated by the process of even getting it in the first place. And they also found that more than half of Americans Americans don't get it because they like don't really know what type or what they're gonna need like, the whole thing just feels too confusing to even like approach so ethos like takes all of that off of the table so you don't actually have to worry about those things they made it as easy as literally just applying online so you can get coverage in like a matter of a minute instead of weeks and weeks and weeks of waiting but even though you don't have to go through the whole process of talking to someone on the phone which I feel like a lot of us prefer to avoid especially if we can do it online they do have a ton of experts that are like super readily available so if you do have any questions or you feel like you need additional guidance 
they have those people available for you and the best part is they're not commission based salespeople so they're not going to try to upsell you which I feel like a lot of people also are worried about with insurance they're just going to make sure that you get what you need I know for me one of the main things when it came to thinking about life insurance it was like the cost was the main thing that came to mind I always just thought that that was just going to be such a huge monthly financial commitment and that's another thing that was kind of intimidating about it but it actually turns out a lot of people really like overestimate what they think life insurance is going to cost it's like really not as expensive as you'd probably think you could spend like as little as 10 minutes just filling out the application and going through the process and get covered for as little as like 10 bucks a month it's just going to kind of give you like a peace of mind and probably give your family a lot of peace of mind too but just like everything else rates just like keep going up and up and up life insurance rates go up like eight to ten percent a year so you can actually kind of save yourself a lot of money in the long run by just locking in your rate now like the sooner you buy it the more affordable it'll be super super easy to log on just enter some of your information and get a quote on what life insurance would actually cost for you based on your needs so if y'all are interested in learning more about ethos or getting your free life insurance quote check out the link down in the description box i will have it right there for y'all once you just kind of face the music and just address it and kind of get it over with i think you're gonna breathe a little bit easier and then it's just checked off you know it's done and over with and you don't have to worry about it anymore so definitely check out the description box if you all want to get some more information or grab your free quote and now that we've talked about that important stuff i need to talk to y'all about the other important stuff i've been doing which is just like getting my life together here in the house we're upstairs i spent a lot of time in our master bathroom on like the linen closet and things like that and our pantry so i went completely ham at target and i ordered a ton of organizational stuff like i literally ordered one of everything i honestly have a lot of stuff to return but i took a clip of the box and like just the ton of different little plastic bins and different little baskets that i ordered to <laughs> make sure i had everything i needed when i decided to like dive in and do this organizing project i just wanted to have everything and i did underneath of my sink like we have two sinks in the master bathroom so underneath of mine put in one of those like expandable little like under cabinet shelf sort of things which are really really nice and i will link all this down below by the way for y'all to check out if you're needing like any new organizational stuff i feel like spring cleaning time is the best time to do this stuff but it kind of expands so it can reach from one end of your cabinet to the other or it can kind of stop in the middle and i don't have anything on it yet because i wanted to make sure that like it fit and everything before i filled it up but i love that it gives me the option to actually take advantage of all of the height in the cabinet rather than just like piling stuff on top of each other or only filling it up like halfway and then on the other side of the cabinet where the shelf like doesn't reach to I'm obsessed with the two little components I put them like one on top of each other the little spinny like lazy Susan with all my hair products is such a lifesaver it is so much easier to grab what I need because I can literally just spin it and pick things out rather than having to like toss stuff on top of each other or like kind of fish around and find what I'm looking for everything's just really like visible and accessible so I love that and then underneath of it kind of like a, a shelf with like a drawer in it so I just threw all my feminine products products in there which I have not needed <laughs> for like a year at this point the beauty of pregnancy and postpartum but those also kind of needed a home where they could be a little bit more organized and a little bit easier to like access and grab stuff out so that's been like a huge <laughs> a huge upgrade because everything in there was just literally in piles and then I also kind of did it doesn't really look super organized but I also organized my kind of like hair drawer sort of <laughs> it mostly just has like my bobby pins and like my jaw clips and my scrunchies and my hair ties and things like that I put a couple little organizers in there because that stuff can get jumbled so easily and then I never know what I'm looking for I can't stand that so I got that all organized I put like all the clips in one section the like scrunchies the big scrunchies in one section the regular hair ties the super tiny hair ties like everything in that drawer has a home now my headbands are also in that drawer so everything like kind of makes sense to all be together and it all has a little home and then I also did underneath my husband's sink which isn't really very exciting to show but I just put one of those little baskets I actually still have the tag on it because I wanted to make sure I was going to keep it but because it literally just like creates space where there wasn't any storage space before so I've been storing kind of like our washcloths and our e-cloths and our like rubber gloves in there just so I can super easily grab them when I'm like wiping down the counters or something and then the linen closet I actually I thought this was gonna be a big undertaking and it was but I actually got it done so quick because I just went in there and blitzed it and I'm so happy with how it came out I only got a few new bins I got some kind of tall like stackable bins in there and those have been a lifesaver but I honestly just kind of reorganized the entire closet and just like move things around on the shelves and even like the big baskets that I've always had I just sort of purged things I kind of put things where it made more sense on the shelves based on like how often I access them but the little stacking bins that I grabbed are amazing they're kind of like a frosted sort of look so they don't like show everything that's in there but you can still tell what's in there so that's why I love these plus they stack so again the efficiency thing with the height I love so I did one with like hair products one with uh, mostly skincare another one with kind of beauty slash skincare and then one with more kind of like body products like razors and deodorants and things like that so that's been such a huge lifesaver plus 
plus our little like stockpile I kind of call it just like all the backup products that we have I organized that in a way that just made more sense like put the body washes and the shampoos and my husband's stuff kind of all in order as well so again it's just easier to find so I'm super happy with how that closet came out because that closet really needed some attention even though I just did it while I was pregnant I organized it I need to do it again and then I also showed this in a vlog or like a haul already but I'll just show y'all real quick again because I did get a new jewelry organizer off of Amazon so I will link that it's so handy it's really simple it literally just takes like two nails to get on the wall but it has a million little hooks plus a little ledge so I have all my necklaces some earrings some rings like a bunch of stuff it's all just thrown on there but it's so easy to grab everything and there's a ton of hooks like I have room for way more stuff and the little shelf is super handy for things that you can't really hang and then this is not really exciting but I did our junk drawer and this find the organizer thing that y'all are seeing here is from Amazon so I will link it but I really wanted something that had a little like compartment area in the organizer for things that were like paper size because I always keep like little folders of either like important papers or flyers or brochures or coupons or things like that that always goes in that drawer and the problem was those were always sliding all over the place and sliding underneath things and sliding to the back of the drawer but I didn't find a lot of organizers that had a slot big enough for like letter size paper but this does so it has a huge section where I have all of those things and then or sections for like paper clips and rubber bands and like the garage door opener and random things like that and then like a little tiny holder for our pens and pencils it is so organized no longer is everything just flying around every time you open and close that drawer like it was genuinely a junk drawer before it was just like so hard to even know what was in there and find it and then the pantry was also a big project that I did I honestly like started that project on accident I was like just going through some stuff and then before I knew it I had like torn the whole thing apart but it is in such better shape now. I honestly just like got rid of stuff and organized stuff to such a degree that there's actually like empty spaces. Everything is so much more organized. I put little bins for like our sweets and our snacks and I have a ton of little bags of popcorners. So, like they have their own little bin. All of our like oatmeal packets, I took those out of the boxes and just put them in like a clear bin. I put all of our protein bars in a little bin and then I organized the cans and the spices and like the little seasoning packets, you know, of like taco seasoning and hollandaise sauce. Those were kind of floating around all of our different like pasta products were just everywhere the cereals were like in multiple different shelves like it just needed some attention so now I mean it's a very full pantry don't get me wrong I know that it's like super stocked I like to keep a very stocked home I just I hate to run out to the grocery store for anything but now it is just so easy to find what I'm looking for everything's very accessible everything like has a home and it makes sense and then lastly I kind of did our little like it's kind of our downstairs linen closet we just have a ton of like cleaning products and like detergent for the dishwasher and the washing machine and just all that kind of stuff I didn't really have to do a ton to that because it was fairly organized but I just sort of again categorized things I put the sponges in like a little bin so now I just feel like everything really has a home I know like the inventory of my house a lot better so if I need something I know where to grab it and I know I'm gonna be able to find it at least so that's all the organizing I've been doing and honestly all that stuff only took me like maybe two or three days and frankly I thought with like having a baby a project like that was gonna take me forever but I got it all done just ordered those bins one day picked them up and then I had it all done like two or three days later I just kind of like got it done so if you need a sign to like do some purging decluttering organizing whatever you need to do around the house This is your sign you can get it done. It's just one of those things once you get it done you're gonna feel so much better. So I wanted to give you all kind of a rundown of what I've been doing and show you all that stuff and link up the products in case you need some ideas for organization and storage. So I will have everything linked down below for y'all and the baby just woke up. So I am going to grab him. <gasps> oh, is that a sad baby? No, there's nothing to be sad about. I just came in here and took off his little sleep suit and he got sad. There's nothing to be sad about. Are you hungry? Oh, you hungry, baby? You are? Okay. Okay, don't be sad. It's all right. <laughs> are you still sleepy? Are you still sleepy? Are you still sleepy? Do y'all see his eyes? How pretty are his eyes? Your eyes are so pretty. Sleepy man. Do y'all see his birthmark, too? He's got a huge one there and a huge one on his neck, too. You got all the booth marks. That is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. What? What? Who is that? Is that a baby Cole? It is. Is that a baby Coley? Whoa. 
I was also just before he went for a nap reorganizing his like book wall situation and I honestly ordered him a ton of new books so I'm gonna be doing a little haul kind of thing showing y'all some new fun books I got him but there's like all these weird empty spots since I was reorganizing this so I need to I don't know finish that and fill that up because how weird does that look I also have his little duffel bag here that I need to finish packing that's on my to-do list today since we're gonna be like I said all over the place this weekend which I don't know how the vlogs are gonna go there's probably gonna have to be a couple vlogs from this weekend because we're just doing the most but since we're gonna be at my in-laws house then my parents house we're gonna just be all over the world I always bring like a giant duffel bag of stuff for him like changes of clothes and blankets and toiletries like diapers and all that kind of stuff yeah we have to bring so much stuff so I need to pack this up today as well anyway, do you <laughs> That's Robin Wayne. That's my sweet boy. Look at him doing tummy time like it's nothing. Yay, baby. Good boy. Whoa. That's a good Whoa. baby. You're so strong. Whoa. Yeah. you strong, baby. Goldie Boo. Hey, big man, over here. Hey, buddy. Okay, hello. Good night. Say good night, Dad. Good night. Time let's, to go night night. Let's please have a good night, actually. Yes. We're let's not going to do night. what we peed up yesterday. No. No. no, the baby. I see most of his hands, which is not a good sign. Yeah. Uh oh. Busted. Busted. Alright, good night, Dad. Good night. Alright, we're gonna wrap up the vlog, I think, for today. I put Cole to bed, and uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna tell you about my book. Um, I'm just sitting down to do a little bit of editing. I'm gonna watch the Sydney Squad live tonight, and then we're gonna watch Denmark, uh, the men's curling event. But I wanted to mention, I'm going to finish. <laughs> I'm going to hopefully finish this book tonight, A Man Called Ove. I was really uh, not sure about this book for like the longest time when I first started reading it and now I'm like in love with it. It's really, really cute and I feel like you just get kind of endeared to Ove and it's a really cute book so I'm planning on definitely finishing that tonight. Oh, I made dinner and I totally forgot to show that but I made it in my little sous vide instead of like getting uh, puss and pots and pans dirty and stuff. I just threw the chicken in the sous vide for like 15 minutes on the bake mode and I didn't even have to do anything. Like I didn't have to actually cook it. I just put it in there and I'm sitting down to do some editing and I think that's probably gonna be it for today. I do have like kind of like a breastfeeding update sort of situation. We met with our lactation consultant yesterday, so they wanna talk about that in tomorrow's vlog. And then my sister's coming into town tomorrow, and then we have a lot of family stuff going on this weekend. So I'm probably gonna make each of these days probably its own vlog, I'm thinking, unless I just like don't have like any footage and then I'll combine stuff. So definitely make sure you are subscribed so that you can catch all this stuff going on over these next couple days. And thank you again so much to Ethos for working with me on this video. And I guess I will just catch y'all in the next one. So if you would like to subscribe, we would love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I will see y'all in our next one. Bye guys.